Hearings Thursday on the radicalization of American Muslims, and critics say that the hearings are unfairly targeting Islam. But King says it's about investigating something from within the Muslim community that poses a threat to the United States. Well, these hearings are generating huge debates even before they happen. Protesters turned out in New York over the weekend. Some were for the hearings and some against. <coughs> Joining me from Capitol Hill is Indiana Congressman Andre Carson. Co Mr. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first, uh, you're, you're Muslim. You. Congressman King says that Al Qaeda is attempting to recruit Muslims in the United States, infiltrating your community. If the hearings are aimed at routing out those terrorists, those people preying on your community, what's wrong with that? I think it's important, you know, there's no doubt about it. Having worked in Homeland Security in Indiana, there is a serious threat in our country with regards to terrorism and those bozos who associate themselves with the religion of Islam. However, having said that, if we're going to have hearings on terrorism, let's have hearings on terrorism across the spectrum. We're talking about neo-Nazi organizations. We're talking about skinheads. We're talking about uh, uh, attacks protesters, not just Muslims. Uh, I think that's where the hearings become misguided. He says that there are comparable examples in history, that uh, there's been explorations of, of the mob, the Italian community or the Russian community or Coney Island. Why not focus on this particular threat? Terrorism is serious in this country. Let me tell you, having worked in Homeland Security, a study was released um, uh, several months ago, and Islamic jihadists ranked at a distant 11, led by skinheads, led by uh, anti-immigration movements, led by the Ku Klux Klan, and led by neo-Nazis. There are serious issues that we have to focus on as it relates to the terrorism.